Is Genshin Impact dying? Short answer, no, not really. I mean, they still have a very large player base, like millions of people playing the game. They still make way too much money from us players who are very happy to spend a truckload of money for some uh, very well arranged pixels on a screen. That, however, does not mean the game is perfect. And that is what I would like to talk about today. My current thoughts of Genshin and what I think they could do better this year to maybe keep the game staying a little bit more interesting. Because the main thing that I've found with this game, and I don't know how many other people can relate to this, is that it started to get a little bit boring. And I mean, it's still not so boring to the point where I won't even play the game. It started to become more of a chore, I'd say. And I think there are a couple reasons for that. Now, the first thing that I think is making this game slightly less enjoyable, and I think they could possibly do something about, is daily commissions. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one who finds this, but daily commissions have gone from something that I sort of enjoy doing. I'd log on to the game, do my commissions, do some story, farm some characters. You know, I'd actually do some stuff. Well, now I just find myself logging on. Oh my God, what was that? logging on and just doing my commissions then logging off right away i just find it to be more of a chore than something that i'm actually wanting to do now i feel like they could fix this reasonably easy something like this might be a bit of a stretch but forza horizon 5 i know it is a very very different game but it basically has a system that you still have daily commissions and you still do your commissions or you can do your commissions every day but they also just sort of add up to, so you can do them all like at the end of the week. You can just add up and do them all on like, well, on Forza Horizon 5's week, it's Thursday for me. But you can just do them all at the end of the week, which I feel like is a really good way to go about it. So you're not dressed out and don't have to get on every single day to do your commissions. But you can still get all of the primos from your commissions. And I have no idea how hard or easy this would be to implement into the game but I think it would be something that would be very nice. Now the next thing I'd like to point out about the game is probably less of a something that's sort of making the game boring, but just something that I think that they should change. And that has to do with characters, not the actual characters themselves, just the amount of characters we have. Like we have, what is it like 70 something, like 72 or whatever characters in the game now. I don't know, we have way too many characters. And that leads to a ton of issues. One of them being the fact that we still only have 160 resin, which is crazy. Like we have 70 something characters and only 160 resin that we're supposed to farm. Boss drops, weapon drops, talent materials, uh, artifacts, all of that for all the 72 characters in the game. Obviously you're not building them all at once, but with you've got that many characters and you only have basically four runs of a boss or a talent domain if it's condensed and stuff like that every day, which is not enough to build your characters. All we want, Genshin, is just a resin cap increase. That's it. You did it with Honkai Star Rail and it has less characters in Genshin and you still did a resin cap increase. Just We just want a resin cap increase in Genshin, please. Now the second thing I would like to say about characters, due to the amount of characters, we also have the issue of reruns. So if you miss out on a character, like I unfortunately have with Navia, you can easily be waiting up to like eight to 12 months. Like you can easily wait over a year just for that character to get a rerun again, because we have so many five stars in the game that it takes so long for reruns. Now there is a way they could fix this, but that way does sort of lead to other problems and that's triple banners. So. Instead of only having two banners at a time, we have three character banners at a time. Now the problem with triple banners is that because there are more characters getting rerun at once, that means that it's there's a lot more of a chance that two characters that you really wanted get rerun together, which as a free to play player is not good because there is absolutely no way that you're going to get both of them unless you're incredibly lucky. If they did add in triple banners, I would have to say the one thing they would need to do, which I personally think they should do anyway, and that is adding in slightly more reasonable drop rates. Make it so soft pities 
55 or 45 and hard pities 70 or whatever so you've lowered the pity that's mainly just my free to play and me talking and hoping that we will get some more reasonable drop rates and i can actually get all the characters i want now the chance that this is done is very very small because we're not even getting a resin increase or artifact loadouts or things that we've asked for ages there is absolutely no way that we're going to get something that reduces the amount of wishes you need to do because that reduces the amount of money that they make and that's all that they really care about. Now, if you are enjoying the video at the moment, please do consider subscribing. My channel is in a little bit of a low at the moment, so it would very much help me out. Now, the third and final thing I would like to talk about is the fact that this game is just getting too easy. Now, I'm not a good example for that because I have two well-built characters and everyone else is just a little bit meh, but people are literally clearing the hardest content in the game, Spiral Abyss Law 12, with one single character. That may be because Neverlet is absolutely broken, but still, they are clearing the hardest content in the game with one character. And I mean, even Spiral Abyss, like, if you have the right teams and they're built well enough, Spiral Abyss is just so easy. I'm not a good ex example, as I said, because I have two well-built characters and everyone else is just kind of, just kind of eh. But if you do have a well-built team, like, I guess on my supports only, I guess, how I've got my Hyperbloom team and I'm currently building my uh, national team. It already does tons of damage and I've barely done anything to it. But yeah, you can clear like the hardest content in the game with, with like just a decently well-built teams. And there you can build an entire team of four star characters and you can just clear the hardest content in the game with it. Now, one thing, don't even get me started on, is what the hell happened to the Ascension domains? They used to be a little bit of a challenge with the Abyss Mages, the Fatui Agent, the the Electro Hypostasis. It was actually a little bit difficult. You know, you, it was a bit of a challenge. But now, it's so easy. Like, so unbelievably easy. There is, like, nothing difficult in it anymore. Because that used to be something that you had to, your characters had to be built for. You had to work your characters up. That was the whole point of it. Is that if you could clear that, you could clear the next part of the game. You know, the next asc world ascension. So you would have to build your characters up so you could clear that. But now it's just easy to clear without very well built characters at all. I could go on on a massive rant, but I am going to leave it here. This video is probably very different to uh, all my other videos, but that is purely because my PC at the moment, my laptop, is struggling to do anything. So I'm just doing some shorter videos to try to get some stuff out until I get my new PC built and I can actually do things. So let me know in the comments what you think about Genshin at the moment, where you think it's headed, what you want to see change. I'd love to see what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this sort of content, do consider subscribing. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Yeah.